I'm from Chicago, so I've never seen this. But I know it happens. It must happen. There's two chameleons mating up there. That's what happens when you come to South Carolina. You get to see nature. Very hard to videotape a butterfly. <laughs> I love Daffy Duck. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that looks like a perfect place to be. The only part problem is that you're trapped here in the summer because we have to feed them every day. Yeah, you feel like you well, have to. Like, they're your babies. Yeah. We have a, a friend that loves to come feed them. Yeah. So we'll leave some Diet Cokes and a bottle of rum. Pick them over here. <laughs> It is a beautiful day in beautiful Beaufort, South Carolina, and I'm traveling with Trevor Stever, who is an original South African guy who's been living in America for 28 years out in this little tropical paradise. I'm looking out here and I see the ocean back there. Just such a cool place. And we're showcasing his water features for my channel, Greg Ritz Like the Pond Guy, which is all about showcasing how people live the aquascape lifestyles. Let's check this water feature out. It's amazing that this is the first time this has happened out of 60 plus vlog stops that I've been to. Beautiful pond. And this is Trevor Stever from Island Garden Features. He is coming back on every stop and he's watering down and making it look fresh. So I think that's a great idea. Maybe if you get the deck here, so it's the same colors. So from all future vlogs, I'm going to have, thanks to Trevor, something that I never even thought of doing, which is just wetting the rocks down and making everything look like it just rained. That's an African iris. Yeah. This is called butterfly weed. Yes. And it's actually reseeded itself in the pond. It's a host for the caterpillar, for the monarchs. Monarchs, yes. So the monarchs, caterpillars will eat all the leaves off and then they'll actually lay the eggs on here. So this is like one of the most important host plants for monarch butterflies. And so one of the things that we don't often discuss, but shouldn't even need to be discussed, is backyard habitats. As milkweed and as, as they put more chemicals and stuff, to have areas that you can have nature come where you live. You don't have to go to a park. You don't have to go to a forest preserve. Inviting nature into your backyard. Here's a natural habitat for monarch butterflies and there's a monarch butterfly right over there. I'm from Chicago, so I've never seen this, but I know it happens. It must happen. There's two chameleons mating up there. That's what happens when you come to South Carolina. You get to see nature. That's flowering milkweed. Yeah. Really? Yeah. There's so many different varieties. Yeah, uh, yeah. I haven't seen that. I'm yeah. not sure which variety it is. Yeah. Well, this was a rebuild from a pond that originally was here. The original homeowners moved out and it was neglected for many years before the house was sold. And then when Peter bought the house, I was supposed to renovate it. It's got some really beautiful accent rocks in here. Mm -hmm. it lives right on the water, so we incorporated some of the natural driftwood into the pond. Very, very low maintenance pond. It's got two biofalls filters, uh, two skimmers. Basically, this pond just takes care of itself all year long. Beautiful natural ecosystem. A lot of birds here every day. He absolutely loves And it. butterflies. And butterflies. So this is a different type of parrot feather. It is. I'm not sure what the variety of that is called, but it's a really cool plant. It's a cool kind of parrot feather. I'm not really familiar with that. 
Look at the size of the taro. Look at that. Look at how big that is. Just such a lush garden. And what I love about this is, like Trevor said, it's so low maintenance. It's just an ecosystem. It takes care of itself. All of the fish and the plants, it's a well-balanced ecosystem. If you have a balanced ecosystem with a five-part recipe, rock and gravel, plants, fish, mechanical filtration in your skimmer, biological filtration in your biofalls, you can have a low maintenance aquascape ecosystem yourself. So Trevor, you said you got some stack slate urns at one of these houses, huh? Yep, right here on the right hand side. Isn't that beautiful? So just think about that. There's nothing that you could put in front of a gorgeous house that would make as much impact as a water feature. Look at how beautiful those aquascape stack slate spears look. Or aquascape stack slate urns look. Right outside the front door with a circular driveway and a beautiful house. Really sets things off. We're going to see a, a long time customer of yours, right? Yep. Pond. Yeah, you'll see it's got some beautiful koi in it. It's just a ecosystem pond done in a formal setting. Okay, so we'll see what it looks like. So it's been here for a long time, huh, Mike? Yeah, we uh, moved in in the uh, summer of uh, 2011. First of the thing, I love the location. Nice deep pond. I got some good sized fish in here too, huh? You see the green favorite. one there by the yellow right there? That's the only one that's been born in the pond. Okay. It survived. The only part problem is that you're trapped here in the summer because we have to feed them every day. And you feel like you right. have to. Like, <laughs> They're your babies. Yeah. We have a, a friend that loves to come feed them. Yeah. So we'll leave some Diet Cokes and a bottle of rum. Pick them over here. <laughs> What I really love about this is the aquatic vegetation that you have planted here. It really softens up. Talk a little bit about that, Trevor. In order to have it look as natural as possible, yeah, and to help filter the pond, we built a natural ledge on this side of the pond all the way through, and then we planted it heavily with uh, marginal plants. They are helping filter the water too, so um, the fish actually love it. The water gets cycled through here behind some of these plants. That ends up being like a little wetland filtration. In addition to the two biofalls. In addition to the two biofalls, and then on that end, we actually put like a wet well system. So underneath those rocks, there's actually another pondless vault. Oh, you just got an aquascape grinding skimmer lid. But yep. Yeah. And underneath that, we actually built a skimmer when we did the actual pool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very unique. Very well done. And the plants are just thriving with all of that fertilization that they get. Are these ferns are actually growing on the wall. Yes, they are. Man. You're going to bust up the bricks. Yeah. <laughs> I love always eating the crab. Yeah. So, are you happy with uh, Trevor? Trevor's the best yeah, of all of us. We use for everything that's done here. He's the best. Yes. Wow, and he's good. honest. He's reliable. He knows what he's doing. And he's a good guy. So, what would you say to somebody that's never had a water feature before? How does this bring enjoyment to you guys? Well, it's fun feeding them. All the kids love to feed them. Calming to sit out here with a cigar and, and watch them swim around. And when you have guests over, they yeah, everybody likes it. And so what's so fun for me is also to meet the people that live with the Aquascape water feature. So not only do I get to see my certified Aquascape conjurers, but I get to meet the end consumer of our products. And that's always fun for me because this is such a passion of mine and it's such a hobby. That's why I keep saying I love my job. If you yourself want to start living the Aquascape lifestyle and find a certified Aquascape contractor, just check out the link below and follow along and find a certified Aquascape contractor in your area that can help you too live the Aquascape lifestyle. Not a bad setup.